so now we will see the mouse control okay um, so in order to rotate you need to press control and you need to select your left mouse button and then you can rotate your model okay and you can use control and right mouse button but that rotates that takes the center point of rotation within your model okay so this is how it rotates and you can use the pan by using control plus center mouse button so that it just pan and in order to zoom in and out you just use scroll up and scroll down that's it okay these are the necessary mouse buttons which we need to know So these are the mouse clicks and these are the keyboard shortcuts so f1 is for top f2 is for front and f3 is for left so control plus f1 will be used for rotate with respect to x okay so you can check this check this out Now press F1 in your keyboard, it just goes to top view. F2, it's front view. F3, side view. Okay? You can go for F4, F5, F6, F7, F... And F9 is for 15 width windows. F10 is isometric view. F11 is uh, used for opening the quality criteria. Okay? You can access it by going to here also quality criteria otherwise you can go to f11 and f12 is your database which i have already used so these are the keyboard shortcuts and you can use control uh, control plus f1 to rotate with respect to x axis in the positive x this is in the uh, other uh, opposite direction so, so these options will be helpful in order to navigate to some locations in your CAD model when the model is very uh, big okay. yeah that's it and now I will perform I will visible my surface using entity and I am going to delete this surface but I need only the edge to be here so when I delete a surface there is nothing left here but I need a, uh, a edge I need that edge of the surface to left at here so press ctrl z to undo and now you go to curves and use this cons to curve operations that just makes a curve from the edge so now even if you delete the surface there will be a curve which will be but we have disabled the curve visibility if you on you can easily view the curves so using this curve i am just going to extrude wait before that i am just going to join all those entities so go to cut and now if you right click over there what it says is cannot join macros with the different PIDs that means if you go to PID view it has been said that this is one part and this is another part when these two parts are merging we need a, a clear uh, representation of a future curve so you cannot hide when two uh, the you cannot add two PIDs so 
uh, it, it is not allowing us to join so if you want to join this however you go to set PID and select this face and you need to set, set the same PID so I have set uh, for both the surfaces the same PID and I go to cut now I right click so it just disappears so likewise I perform here since already it is on single PID and I delete my hard points also so I just have only a line a curve so I am going to extrude it in the positive z direction up to, uh, up to a distance of 100 and center click and accept and I want to name this new surface as say side oh okay I have given this name also the side one okay that don't be matter we don't need to focus on the PD as of right now we need to focus on the function called intersect so we have already fixed this kind of issue using the project function this edge of the one uh, internal edge of this surface has to be projected on the exterior surface okay and when these two surfaces intersect there should be some uh, future curve so in order to generate that I can use intersect I can choose this surface to intersect on this surface so when you use this operation uh, it automatically asks whether you want to delete uh, based upon your intersection developed so I as of now I don't want to delete any faces if you need you can just delete now the uh, this one is highlighting this face to be delete if you want you keep this surface now it 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 asks whether you want to keep this surface or not so I need every every surface so I just keep 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 okay otherwise you can stop also when it is asking if you click stop once it won't ask again so it has now now intersected okay so this is what inter intersect and you can extend your surface also you can extend up to target and up to pass this is the con to extend to form such a face oh. when you perform using target you need to focus on the range so only up maximum it will be expanded to 10 units but I, I am saying it to extend up to 200 units ok and press enter and select the face so even though if the distance is within 200 it will join but when we specify a minimum range it will join up to that much only so it has made a thing like this so here you you can use project so go to project now we need to project the cons on the surfaces so we need to use this operation and we need to select just hide your curves and only cons are visible so I need to select this con this one so I need each and every single click so in order to select this kind of entities I can use option called these are called selection uh, filters 
actually I can use this to uh, this future line so when I click a line and a line which are uh, neighboring with it within 40 degree will be selected so when I select this thing all the uh, edges are being selected since everything lies within the 40 degree okay so I just deselect only this one using the, my right mouse button to hover over that uh, free edge and center click to finish up your selection of uh, cons and now you go to the next stage on selecting face now select the face and center click and it will be projected now you perform the topo operation and this is how we have projected this thing so so we have seen um, cut and with delete and delete and you can make a new surface using this option you can go to new and I need a planar surface you can create and cones you can create a set PID topo and project cut mid surface this is for FEA purpose and remove logos that I will demonstrate later when there is a heavy model with contains logos uh, and fuse this just close the gap between the two narrow faces okay um, plane cut this will be essential when you are performing uh, a CAD cleanup for uh, uh, some symmetrical objects like a car yeah, if you are going to perform a airflow over a car uh, then you no need to consider the total car because the car is symmetric about uh, its symmetric about its z axis uh, sorry symmetric about the x plane if you are having your uh, uh, car length in um, sorry uh, when you are so the this plane cut will be highly efficient uh, highly beneficial for symmetrical project all kinds of not only for um, car it it just fits for all the all kinds of symmetric objects this plane cut will be highly beneficial okay and this offset we have used and freeze and unfreeze this will be seen later and intersect and extend and orient this orient just uh, orients the surfaces inner surfaces in one color and other surfaces in other color so inner surface probably in will be in yellow color and the outer surfaces will be in gray color so when you click orient it will automatically assign this thing if you want to invert then click once again so that is your convenient so we have seen we have seen surfaces and we have seen uh, cones so this cone using the cones function we can just generate the surface by selecting in a orderly manner we, you cannot select uh, it has to be in a clockwise or anti-clockwise you should not skip on account and you can cannot select other things it will uh, perform a bad uh, surface i will do that uh, for your uh, purpose so i just select this one and i select this one in this place it's not uh, i cannot show that but i can show it here some just to go on to so I will show it later okay uh, when there is such a problem cones and fit fits a surface to set up curves and extends so these are the commonly used operations in the answer okay so let me back to our slide now
so these are the things we have seen in our today's class not everything but we focused on the commonly used uh, tools in the topo, uh, topo module and in later classes we will see the module of mesh and module of volume mesh in detail manner okay so these are topological colors already we have seen these things Thank you.